Hi everybody, Elisa here with another Vera Bradley Bag of the Day. Today I wanted to talk about um, the Quick Draw, which is a, well, some I would call it a vintage style. Um, I always say for, for me the term vintage, I use the term vintage to refer to um, bags that were produced when uh, the company was still um, making use, regular use, um, consistent use of the coordinating trim uh, in their designs. And so to me, this would fall into that category. So I'll call it a vintage style. It's a style I knew about, but I, I uh, only recently started paying attention to it. I think because it must have come up, come up in an eBay search I was doing on pat, you know, on a, whatever the pattern was. And it was one of the bag styles that came up in caught my eye for some reason uh, when it hadn't in the past. Um, and I, I just got this quick draw the other day. Uh, the pattern is um, Floral Nightingale. Um, I'll put the year in the video description because um, I, I forgot to look it up. <laughs> um, but I just love this bag style. Um, but I, I have been using it over the last couple of days. And there are some things that I notice about it that I would, would want to call out for people, um, things that might be concerns for, for people. They're not really concerns for me, but just things that I, I did notice. Um, the first thing I want to mention about this bag before I forget is that this was new with tags. Um, and the so it was in great shape. I mean, and the fabric still had that crisp. Um, kind of unused feel to it. The, the tag inside says spot clean only with a damp cloth. Um, but I, the, the, there is a base in the bottom. Uh, it's not removable. And so I just, <laughs> I just can't not wash um, stuff that I buy from eBay. If I buy it on eBay, uh, it's got to be washable. It's very hard for me to not throw something in the washer. I just I, used fabric gives me the willies. <laughs> so, um, so I took a chance and I threw this in the washing machine and it went through fine, really beautifully. Now I don't know what that insert is on the bottom. So, um, like I've said, also with the chain bag, which is spot clean, officially spot clean only, but I have washed it just fine in the washing machine. Since I don't know what that base material really is, uh, I'm not going to overdo it with the washing in the machine. I mean, I would now, if I got something on it, try to spot clean it probably as much as possible. But it's just that initial get something. I don't know where it's been, where it's been stored. Um, so I, I have to wash it before I put it in with my other Vera. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so like I said, Quick Draw Floral Nightingale. Um, this, the bag is a basically a bucket style bag. The base is sort of an oval. I will go through all the dimensions in a minute. Um, and then it has this just sort of square kind of shape. Um, but since the base is a little bit oval and smaller than the top opening, when you hold it, it kind of has this bucket shape to it if you don't pull the drawstring closed. The top closure is only a drawstring closure. There is no zipper and there is no magnet uh, there, you know, snap magnet, snap closure, or anything. Um, I tend to carry it this way, just open, because I like this bucket shape. And I like the uh, strap drop at its shortest length in combination with that open sort of bucket shape. Um, it, the strap is adjustable, not removable, but adjustable, so it can work also as a crossbody. And I, I could try it on that way uh, as well. So I guess, you know, if you, you can uh, pull the drawstring closed, and I'll do that when you want more security. But it's never going to be a perfect closure like a zipper. It's not going to be, ever be that secure. Um, and because I like to carry it this way, I just, in the um, 
online outlet sale that's going on right now. I ordered a, a crossbody bag um, in a lighten up fabric that I, I think will, should work well to just place it in here. It has a long strap and I'm going to show what I do with the straps for a little bit more security. Um, but I'm hoping to then use that in combination with this to get me that security or I can put my wallet and my iPad mini and things in there and zip it up and yet it will still be tethered to this bag um, with this crossbody strap. I'm hoping that it should work out. <laughs> anyway, so um, on the front of the, of the bag there are two slip pockets that are have flaps and they have a covered magnetic closure. It's in this tab here. And, and there's another piece of magnet in the pocket. And I just love, uh, if you've seen some of my other videos where I talk about the covered magnetic closure, I just love a co covered magnetic closure. <laughs> it's hard for me to resist that. Um, so that's the outside, just these two. This is these, these things are just, you know, they have the magnet in them and they're, other than that, they're just decorative. With a little bit of, um, hardware there. The hardware is nice. Uh, night feels nice. Not The hard, edges aren't too sharp. And you can see the grommets and the pull cord there. So to pull, you know, to cinch it, you just, you know, pull and then move this piece of fabric. Oop. Get it. Move that up. And it's cinched up top. But again, like I've said, you know, it's not ever going to, you can't avoid some opening there. So that's what it would look like cinched. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on at some point. I tend not to do that, like I said. And I do think that because this is just a fabric, like a rolled piece of fabric that's stuffed with some kind of filling, so it's soft and it has like a knot on the end there. Um, but because this is just a fabric covering, over time, you know, the pieces of fabric, both this thing on the end and also just running through the grommets, eventually I would imagine that this pull, this fab the fabric covering this pull, um, will wear off. Eventually it's going to show wear. And uh, that's always sort of in the back of my mind with something like this. Um, so I, I, that's not the main reason I'm not using the drawstring that much, but it's something to keep in mind if you're going to use this a lot and there's someone who's going to be opening and closing it with a cinch um, element. So I, the back side is not there's nothing there it's just a nice big expanse for pattern that's what's nice about this bag although I would say you know cinching it up you will lose things like this bird will for example pretty much gets lost when it's cinched up but you know that's okay I've got these other birds here this is such a lovely pattern I've talked about this pattern before because not only does it have the birds but it has numerous little flying you know, dragonfly-like uh, critters on it. There's another one there. Also has these strips on the side, which lead up to the loops. I always love the loop hardware. I feel like it's very boho, very hippie child. And then at the top, of course, the coordinating trim. So that's a nice element. Yeah, I think that's that's the only place where the trim is. And then the lining, of course, is the cotton coordinating cotton lining, which is pretty on this fabric. Again, that's pretty simple um, daisy type um, flowers with the lattice behind them, which is di in different colors. It's just very nice. And yeah, the different legs of the, or bars of the lattice work are different colors. So um, I guess I can show how it looks on and then I can get to the inside, the measurements and the inside features. Ooh, it's hot here today. <laughs> 
so this is how it looks at the, this is the shortest strap drop uh, configuration, which is a 12 inch strap drop. And this length of the strap, to get that strap drop of 12 inches is 27. So the longest extend, extension of this crossbody strap would be about 54 then I think it is. Yeah, 54. So you can see when I wear it and I keep it open, it really has a like a bucket shape. And I just love that. I always have uh, like that, that look. For some reason, to me, it doesn't age like some other bag styles and shapes do. It always kind of has a modern look. So what's nice is that even if the fabric is a little traditional looking, um, the style of the bag, I feel like, kind of counters that a little bit. Although I do think this particular pattern goes well with this style because it's all kind of bohemian uh, and not very formal. So if I, if I extend the strap a little bit to do it crossbody, again, un, uncinched. <laughs> and see what that looks like. It's a very, uh, it's a stiff uh, piece of uh, hardware here, the strap adjustment. Oh my goodness. A little trouble, there we go. Got a little bit more, a little bit more length. But I guess that's what you want, right? I mean, if, if this slips around when you've got the bag loaded up, that's no good. So that's how it's crossbody. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind it. Uh, it's probably one of the crossbody shapes I prefer. Sort of like the carry-all crossbody I was talking about in a recent video has that sort of longer, uh, narrow look to it. And this is kind of like that too, even more so. So then if I were to cinch it, And wear it crossbody. That's how it looks. Now, when I cinch it and wear it crossbody, I'm very much more aware of it here in between my boobs. <laughs> I feel like it's definitely uh, defining my chest more. Um, and I, I would so that I don't like. <laughs> and if you're going to wear it as a shoulder bag, cinched. Let me get back to my shortest strap length, and after that I can talk about the dimensions on the inside and what I've noticed about the inside. So that's how it would look cinched. Not bad, but I think having to work this every time I wanted to go in and out of it in a store to get my wallet or whatever. I think for me it would bug me. It's not it's not quite maybe I'm just not used to it yet, but it's not quite um, as easy as working a zipper. And these don't always slip around evenly. You know, so if you, that would bug me too. That would sort of compulsive. Everything has to be even. <laughs> okay. So back to the open which is how I like to wear it. And it's very comfortable. I mean, I love, I love where it's hitting on my body at this length. It, it's just great for me, it's perfect for me. So the dimensions, let's see. All right, so 12 inch shortest strap drop. And like I said, uh, it's 27 inch shortest strap length and 54 inch longest strap length. Um, the opening is 12 inches, and it's also 12 inches tall, so it's a square, but it doesn't look like a square because of the shape of the base, which is, and the dimensions of the base, which is sort of, you know, an oval and, or like a, an, a, a rounded off rectangle, and that's nine and a half by five. The strap width is one inch, and the strap is comfortable. It's I don't know, it's just maybe slightly padded. There is a softness to it. I like the strap. I have no problems with the strap, especially when you're 
carrying it at a short length like this, it sort of doubled up on your shoulder, so it feels even more padded. Um, the front pockets. Now, this is this is the issue, especially on the inside, that I, th I think people might have a problem with if or concerns with, especially if they have larger smartphones that they want to put in inner slip pockets or even outer slip pockets. So these front pockets are four and a half wide, this this way, by about five and a quarter top to bottom. And you see they have um, is that lining on the underside, the flap, which is nice. They have this opening that sort of uh, slopes, curves in a little bit and ha is topped with a little bit of the fabric, cover with the fabric, which is nice. A nice little bird under there and another um, dragonfly. <laughs> um, so it's a relatively small pocket, you can see, you know. And I do have long fingers, but my hands are not uh, gigantic. They're not small, but they're not gigantic. So this is my, you know, ridiculously outdated phone. <laughs> so nobody else has it has a phone like this, right? And I mean, look, even that is sticking up. Um, covers, you know, it works. But just to give people an idea, th these are small pockets. I mean, this is a bag from back in the day. So that, you know, you need to keep that in mind when you get this. The inner slip pockets are only two and a half by f wide by five deep. There are three. Uh, well, here's the inside with my stuff in it, you can see. Um, I have my usual, some of my usual stuff, not everything right now. This is my iPad mini, fits in there fine. My uh, charger, cord, pouch. I do have my wallet in there and I want to talk about that, so I don't want to take that out just yet. But here on this back wall, you can sort of get a look at the pockets. So there are three slip pockets and a zipper pocket all on one side of the bag. The center slip pocket is on top of the outside of the zipper pocket. So it's a little bit, it, its dimensions are a little bit different than the two surrounding slip pockets. So the two surrounding slip pockets are the ones that are two and a half by five and that's what this is, my iPod. And, and I, I can fit my iPod in one of those side, you know, uh, side slip pockets, but just, I mean, I have to shove it in there. Let's see if I can get that. So you can see it there, the top of it there. It just fits completely, take up the complete pocket. So those, this one, this pocket and the other one over here, slip pocket, are, are the same. They're the two and a half by five inch pockets. Here in the middle, you have you have that zipper pocket and a slip pocket sorry on it and this is just a little bit squarer in dimension uh, a little not quite five inches deep and just a little bit wider than two two and a half inches wide so slightly different dimensions that zipper pocket is five by five I did measure it because I wanted to see if I, what I could get in there like if I could get a wallet in there and I really can't. Even the smaller wallet, like um, the one for the money wallet or, or taxi wallet, will not fit in there. What I can fit in there, which I do sometimes use as a small wallet, is a coin purse. So that gives you an idea, you know, about what you're working with, with this uh, zip pocket in here, you know. So. That's always a concern for me when I have a bag that doesn't have a secure top or you know a zipper top or just has a magnetic snap closure. What am I going to do with my wallet? So do I have to carry around a sweatshirt or something that I pile on top of the wallet and I bury the wallet at the bottom of the bag? And I do sometimes do that as a solution. But like yesterday I went out to a, a car show and I didn't take this bag because I knew there were going to be people walking around and I wanted a zipper, a top zipper, a bag with a top zipper closure. So this was not going to work for me, unfortunately, yesterday. Um, so, you know, it was, that was a little frustrating to not be able to zip up my wa a wallet easily in that 
pocket unless it's a coin purse. So what I did was I took one of my uh, a wallet or a crossbody that has a crossbody strap. So there is a there's a, a, a wallet at the outlet store that has that. I, I've done a video on it. I can't remember what it's called at the top of my head, but it has a strap. It might be just called strap wallet. Um, it has a crossbody strap, but it is a wallet. And so here I'm using my lighten up uh, all in one crossbody as a wallet, which I tend to do. You could do it, it doesn't have to be lighten up. I mean, you could do it with one that's a regular cotton. And I've also done this. Dookie, it's just me. Don't worry, it's just me. <laughs> Dookie's sleeping on my wallet, on my crossbody. <laughs> um, I also did this the other day with this, which is the, um, what is this called? The, the three-in-one crossbody from the outlet, factory outlet store. This, it doesn't have the strap on it right now, but it does come with a crossbody strap. And I did the same thing that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna show that I did with this, with this, and it works fine. And I'm hoping to be able to do something similar with this crossbody bag that I bought to use in here. So I've threaded, first I thought I might thread the crossbody strap through the, this outer ring. You know, that seemed handy. But then I realized, oh, I can use a piece of the cord, the drawstring uh, feature on the inside of the bag. And so I, I, I removed the, one of the ends of this crossbody, threaded it through that piece of cord, you know, the pull tie, the drawstring, and then reattached it to the bag. And so now, you know, if someone were to reach into my bag and I was not aware, which would be highly unlikely, <laughs> but if it happened, it could happen, and they were to pull on this, you know, they would only get so far. So um, that, that's my thinking with this, and that's what I've been doing. It makes me feel a little bit better. So then I can have a bigger wallet in there, and I don't have to worry about trying to throw a sweatshirt in there or something to cover it, you know, to make it harder for someone who might be trying to grab into my bag. But when I get the crossbody that I ordered, which is also in Splashdown, <laughs> um, I might just do a, a quick follow-up video just to, if it works to show you know, what I can get in there and how it sits in the bag. I'm hoping it'll fit nicely in the bag. So um, those are the, that's the, the, my main, would be my main, um, well, the two is, things would be the no secure, totally secure top zipper, top uh, opening closure um, for this bag. And the very small, you know, very small, um, I want to see them, yeah, slip pockets in there. Um, I use them, but again, I have some small stuff. And so, um, you know, that, that might be a problem for people. What is nice is that with the cotton lining and the way that it is somehow attached to the bag, um, better than the, you know, the nylon linings today, is it's not as blousey. And when you put stuff in that, those slip pockets, the bag still tends to keep its shape well, which is nice. The other wall of the bag doesn't have anything on it. But for the, the soft sort of unstructured feel of it and the dimensions of it, uh, the shape of it, I, I just, I'm loving it. And of course I couldn't order just one, so. <laughs> <laughs> I have another one coming to me in another pattern and when that comes in I, I do want to do another video talking about pattern in combination with this bag style because I was finding when I was looking on eBay at the pictures and the various patterns that I can find so far this comes in for me anyway uh, that's something to look at carefully because especially with these pockets positioned here and the way the pockets are constructed there are a lot of small pieces of fabric and that affects how the pattern looks, and it uh, that varies from pattern to pattern too. It's a little less problematic with a pattern like this, um, because of the way the elements in this pattern are spaced out. I think within the pattern, um, you know, there, there's 
some uniformity and there's not a lot of overlap and there's sort of a uniform amount of negative space around all of the elements. And um, I think that helps when you're cutting up the fabric into smaller pieces. Although you still, I did see a few, only one or two other uh, quick draws in this pattern and the placement wasn't as good or didn't have birds. So that, that, you know, I didn't even look at it if it didn't have any birds on it. That's, I'm just wasting my time then. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's a, let's see there, right, right in front. And I think both pockets underneath have that one. There's a little bird there. Yeah, another bird there. There's even a, a bird there, a little bit of a bird there, which sort of makes up for um, this unfortunate beak uh, truncation, whatever, <laughs> in, right in the grommet there. But at least I have the other, the other one there and there, which I didn't even expect this one. I, I it was in the picture, I'm sure, but I didn't notice it. But anyway, like I said, I mean, sometimes, and, and I can compare it to Mocha Rouge, that's the pattern that I got it in, because I feel like that was a little bit more challenging and uh, may look a little bit more mashed up on the front. Um, but I got it anyway. But I just think it's an interesting thing to keep in mind when you look at this pattern, that uh, in this, this bag style, um, that the pattern placement is important and can really make a difference in how the front of this bag looks. It can either look good or it can look like a hot mess very easily. <laughs> anyway, that's for the next the next video. Um, so just just love it. I'm really enjoying it. Very comfortable and, and hard to put down. I've been using it for the last few days except for the auto show. So I hope you all found that helpful and um, hopefully see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.